Hi, my name's Nigel from Qualsafe.com and I'm really excited to be able to demonstrate for you the new Mini AED Trainer. At over £100 less expensive than any other AED Trainer on the market, it provides a solution that enables every learner on a first aid course to practice using an AED without breaking the bank. The unit accurately simulates defibrillation without administering a live shock, so it's completely safe for use in the classroom. The Mini AED Trainer comes packaged with two alkaline AAA batteries, connection leads, training pads and instructions. One of the great features is its size. First aid trainers have enough equipment to carry around without adding further kit. So the Mini AED Trainer is so small and lightweight you can literally store one in the bag with each of your CPR mannequins. Of course, it's sensible to have at least one life-sized AED trainer to show your class, but the Mini AED trainers are fantastic for enabling every student to practice using an AED. Now that the Resuscitation Council UK have fully integrated AED use into the Basic Life Support Guidelines, there's a much bigger emphasis on integrating AEDs as standard when you teach CPR. The ongoing cost of consumables with the Mini AED trainer is very low too. The pads come separately to the plug-in connector wires which keeps the replacement cost down. The pads are also really well constructed and the adhesive has been specifically developed to enable multiple repeat uses which is a big improvement on some AED training pads that lose their adhesiveness after just three or four practices. And the Mini AED pads won't leave lots of residue on your mannequins either. So, when the unit arrives, we connect the pads to the wires and we leave them connected like this until, after many, many uses, we eventually need to replace the pads. Now, let's have a look at the Mini AD Trainer itself. The vast majority of semi-automatic ADs on the market have two main functions, an on-off switch and a shock button. A few models need the pads plugging in and most have visual indicators too. The Mini AD Trainer has all these functions, so don't be put off by its size. After inserting the batteries, you turn the unit on by pressing the power button and start to follow the voice and visual prompts. Apply pads to patient's bare chest. Plug in pads connector next to flashing light. So exactly as it says, I need to apply the pads to the patient's bare chest. You can see that there's a clear diagram on each pad that indicates the correct location. As instructed, after placing the pads, I then plug in the connector next to the flashing light. Now as soon as I plug the pads in, the unit moves on to the next voice prompt, so it doesn't need a remote control, which is great because they often get lost and we don't need somebody to be in charge of the remote control. Everyone can concentrate on the AD demonstration. So let's plug the pads in. So you can see there that the unit has simulated analysing, charging and delivery of the shock. The visual indicators also match the voice prompts. After delivery of the shock, the unit immediately tells me to start CPR, which follows UK, European and American guidelines. During CPR, there's a green light that flashes at exactly 110 beats per minute, so I can follow this to make sure I can do my chest compressions at the correct speed. After timing me doing two minutes CPR, the Mini AD trainer does this. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. No shock advised. If needed, start CPR. Which is great as it allows the learner to demonstrate following the AD both when it advises a shock and also when no shock is advised. So, I hope you like the Mini AED Trainer as much as I do. At last we have an affordable AED Trainer that enables everyone who learns CPR to also practice using an AED. 
If you'd like more information or to buy the Mini AED trainer, simply visit callsafe.com today.